guys, I'm Samantha and I'm here to go over the new releases that are coming out in January that I'm excited for. There are just a small handful of them so hopefully it won't take too long to go over. Um, there, I just get my releases updated from Goodreads mostly but if I hear about a book that I'm interested in I will add it to my um, list for new releases, but these are just what I found. The first being House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J. Moss. This is the third book in the Crescent City series. I have this book already pre-ordered. It comes out on January 30th. I'm super excited. I have a small clip that I had just copied from Goodreads that I'll just read over all the like small synopsis that I have on here are just small clips that I've took from Goodreads so I'll just go over it really quick. Bryce Quinlan never expected to see a world other than Midgard but now that she has all she wants is to get back. Everything she loves is in Midgard. Her family, her friends, her mate. Stranded in a strange new world she's going to need all of her wits to get about her to get her home again and that is no easy feat when she has no idea who to trust. Hunt Athalia has found himself in some deep holes in his life, but this one might be the deepest of all. After a few brief months with everything he ever wanted, he's in the Asteris dungeons again, stripped of his freedom and without a clue as to Rice's fate. He's desperate to help her, but until he can escape the Asteris leash, his hands are quite literally tied. And the sexy, breathtaking sequels to a to the number one bestsellers House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath, Sarah J. Moss's Crescent City series reaches new heights as Bryce and Hunt's world is brought to the brink of collapse with its future resting on their shoulders. Dun dun dun. But yeah, I am super excited. I have it pre-ordered. I am rereading House of Sky and Breath currently in in anticipating that book to come out so I am excited. The next is The Heiress by Rachel Hawkins. It comes out January 9th. I've read one Rachel Hawkins, one or two Rachel Hawkins books before and now that I'm thinking of it. The one that I am thinking of the most right now is The Wife Upstairs, the Jane Eyre retelling and I really enjoyed it. I think she also did the ma Matched series, but I only read book one of that. But the synopsis says, When Ruby McTavish, Callahan Woodward Miller, Kenmore dies, she's not only North Carolina's richest woman, she's also the most notorious. The victim of a famous kidnapping as a child and a widow four times over, Ruby ruled the tiny town of Tavenstock from Ashby's house, her family's estate high in the Blue Ridge Mountains. In the aftermath of her death, that estate, along with a nine-figure fortune and the complicated legacy of being a McTavish, passed her adopted son Camden. But to everyone's surprise, Cam wants little to do with the house or the money, and even less to do with the surviving McTavishes. Instead, he rejects his inheritance, settling into a normal life as an English teacher in Colorado and marrying Jules, a woman just as eager to escape her own messy past. Ten years later, Cavan is a McTavish in name only, but a summons in the wake of his uncle's death brings him and Jules back into the family fold at Ashby House. Its views are just as stunning as ever, its rooms just as elegant, but coming home reminds Cam why he was so quick to leave in the first place. Jules, however, has other ideas, and the more she learns about Cam's estranged family and the twisted sick secrets they keep, the more determined she is for her husband to claim everything Ruby once intended for him to have. But Ruby's plans were always more complicated than they appeared. As Ashby House tightens its grip on Jules and Camden, questions about the infamous heiress comes to light. Was there any truth to the persistent rumors following her disappearance as a girl? What really happened to those four husbands who all died under mysterious circumstances? And why did she adopt Cam in the first place? Soon Jules and Cam realize that an inheritance can entail far more than what's written in a will, and that the bonds of family stretch far beyond the graves. So it's a 
seems to be a pretty interesting time for like mystery thriller books to come out. Um, as the next couple of books, I think, are mystery thrillers. But I, that just synopsis alone just makes me want to get into it because it sounds like a TV show to me. Like, I love watching like the crime mystery shows like NCIS, Bones, things like that. So it kind of gives me like vibes of that. I would like to get my hands on this. Book three is Going Dark by Melissa Delacruz. It comes out, releases January 31st. Let's see. Hashtag where is Amelia Ashley, the influencer. Amelia Ashley shares everything with her followers, her favorite hole-in-the-wall restaurants, her best fashion tips, and her European trip of a lifetime with her hot boyfriend. The boyfriend. Josh has no clue but to return home without Amelia after she abandoned him in Rome. He has no clue where she went or how her blood got in his suitcase. Why won't anyone believe him? The Hacker. To Harper Delgado, em Amelia Ashley is just an another missing work, white girl whipping up the a media frenzy. But with each digital knot she untangles about the influencer, Harper, who is about the influencer, Harper wonders who is Amelia Ashley. The other girl. Two years ago, another girl went missing, one who never made headlines or had a trending hashtag. The truth? Amelia's disappearance has captured the world's attention. What comes next? Watch this space. So, another uh, a missing person thriller. Book four is The Fury by Alex Michaelides. I had read A Silent Patient, I think a year ago now, and enjoyed it. Um, just This comes out uh, January 16th. I just pulled the clip. It says, I masterfully, masterfully words today. Paced thriller about a reclusive ex-movie star and her famous friends whose spontaneous trip to a private Greek island is upended by a murder. So, lots of thrillers. And Kylie Reed, the author of Such a Fun Age, is coming out with a book called Come and Get It. It releases January 6th. Um, it has a, it comes a, with a fresh and provocative story with a, about a residential assistant and her messy entanglement with a professor and three unruly students. So those are the five books that I'm interested in reading um, or trying to get my hands on in the uh, month of January. I'm not entirely too sure when it exactly I'll get to all these. I know for a fact I'm going to be reading House of Flame and Shadow pretty soon as soon as I get my hands on my copy. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you're interested in reading. What are some new releases that you're interested in getting to? Like this video if you like this kind of content and hit subscribe to keep up to date with any new videos I come without in the future. And until then you guys, bye.